with Todd working against each other, but. Here we have a lovely day of some Oregon Inlet bridge sheephead fishing. Pretty classic Outer Banks activity, especially on a blow day like it was on this day. I think it was blowing out of the northeast maybe 20 miles an hour. Very strong wind, but I think it'll turn out okay as far as the wind noise goes. Stick with me. We catch a good bit of fish in this one, and it was a pretty fun outing. So the main three rigs that people use for sheephead fishing are the dropper rig that I've been fishing right now, Carolina rig, and a sheephead jig. I was starting off with a really heavy weight on this dropper rig. There was almost no current, but I was still fishing three ounces. The wind was blowing so hard that you had to have something that would keep your line tight enough that you could feel the bite. So that's what I was starting with. I guess I gotta come fish over here. I still haven't had a damn bite. Took the fish and lost it, or? No, he didn't. Took his bait. He dropped down twice and got it. Was he on the bottom, or? Shout out to Hunter for that one. Got us one. Sheephead weather. It's a shame we can't fish a little lighter stuff, but it's so windy you have to have a three ounce weight to hold your line tight so you can feel the bite. Yeah, you're I was right. using a two and I couldn't feel anything because it wouldn't. Thanks for uh, locating some fish, Hunter. So there were three of us out here fishing and Hunter has located some fish. Sheephead tend to kind of travel in little clusters and from looking at them on forward sonar, that's 100% how they act on bridges. So a lot of the time when the fishing is slow, if one person gets a couple bites, everybody will kind of group up and fish that same part of the uh, bridge or same depth and you'll find more fish there um, even when it's slow fishing. Once you locate one of those clusters, everybody can kind of get in on the action. So that's why we're all fishing right next to each other. He was a little deeper, but not crazy deep. He's a small one, but uh, I'd say today we may have to take some small ones. Another one, about a 13 inch. In this video, I'm fishing 20 pound braid to a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader. Fluorocarbon is very important around the bridges. You don't have to retie as often because it holds up to abrasion a lot better. Also gives you a better chance at landing a fish that gets you in the bridge. Hey, can I get the net? Thank you. Yeah. 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 situation 
Oh, y'all did that up yourselves. Yeah. Hell yeah. It's like a brush handle. Uh huh. Yep, I'm just trying to push the boat away. <laughs> there you go. Damn, that's a dark one. Thank you, buddy. He is dark. Whoa, look how I got him. Did you get him inside the mouth? Yeah, I got him in the nose. Well, yeah, outside the mouth. Mm -hmm. You'll have that sometimes. Yeah, I'm going to get in and grab a different rod anyway. Any more bikes in there? No. I'm getting a few right here, but it's hard to find because I don't know if it's I'm going to try a jig on one of my rods. Hunter, you want me to throw that fish in the ice while I'm in here? Here, hold on. I got it. You can push the boat off? Yep. Try one of these jigs out. I've had some pretty poor results with sheephead jigs in the past, but I think the problem with that is that I was using the jigs that have a swiveling hook. Since then, I've experimented some with the jigs that are just a fixed jig, and I used them in the bay over the summer for some sheephead, and I've found that in cleaner water situations, when you have less current and you can get away with using a jig, they can be pretty effective. Part of being a good fisherman is being able to try new techniques and branch out even though it's something that you're not comfortable with or maybe something you don't agree with. Can't get too hard-headed because there's more than one way to catch a fish. I gotta try to hide this lighter rod from the uh, wind. Oh, there's one. Small fish. Jig. Oh, I had some nibbles right there. Yeah, I did. Pretty good bite on the jig. Not very deep. Glad to have a bite again. It's been a while for me. The bite had kind of slowed down, so I picked up that jig to try to do something that was a little more of a finesse approach compared to those bigger bottom rigs we were using because fishing for suspended fish when you're dropping that huge lead on them every time I think you can get away with it a lot easier when they're on the bottom but there wasn't much current so these fish were kind of sitting up higher on the columns <clears throat> like I caught them on them in the bay oh yeah 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 I know up there they catch them didn't they invent those for tog-tog? Yeah, it, it started as tog jigs. I just had a real good bite right here. I think he's going to get it again, though. Yep, he's on it. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Hey. On the jig. The jig works. Yep. I'm telling you, I when I got started using them, I was using the ones with that swiveling hook, and that's why I hated them. Cause when you get them on these, it pegs them. Yeah. Are those the meat haul jigs? I don't know what they are. I ordered them from somewhere. 
he was not coming off. I don't know if he's coming off ever. There it goes. Not a bad one, a little better than the others. Well, not the other two, but better than the second one I kept. Getting sea bass bites now. Wow, not a sea bass bite. Felt like a sea bass, because he was that small. Has he got, has he got anything wrong? What does he need done? Still got his prime point, geez. Got another one. Oh, and there he goes. Uh, I, I feel like they're about 10 to 15. The, the oh, last, goodness. they're that one, and the last one I had too. I got a good bite. Good bite. Picking up with the current, hopefully. Oh, yeah. Hunter got one. Better get him. <laughs> Yeah, they're starting to bite. Yeah, this is a <laughs> they are biting. <laughs> what do we? What, what's the verdict on this one? He's kind of small. Yeah, not up here. It don't matter to me. Uh, I mean, he's definitely he big 12. enough. He's well. Oh yeah, he's he's like twelve or so. What do you think, Caleb? You be the judge. Most days I would not keep that fish, but. It's a little slow. Wait, what? I said most days I wouldn't keep that fish, but it's a little slow. You get you. You still getting bit? How deep are you? Hmm. Yeah. Like a good bite. Swallowed it too, looks like. Did he? I think. I fed him for a second. Got to. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, no. It, it's out of the Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, good. I was like, what the heck? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Deep. Okay, got a few here. Gonna go ahead and get these guys on ice. We don't usually take a cooler up here with us. <clears throat> Need this one real quick. Let them sit for a minute, but not all that long, and then we'll take them to the boat. Ready? I'm just going to sit them. The wind and the outgoing tide were pushing against each other, so there wasn't much current at all when we first got started, but after a couple hours, the current started to move a little bit, and once that happened, those fish started to bite a little better. Generally speaking, you're going to have a better bite during some current. Yeah. Oh, he's not that big. He's not that big, but... He bit it on the, on the drop. 
I was letting it I was letting it go down and it just went slack and I was like what the heck the fish don't have as many places they could be at so you don't have as hard a time finding them Yep, oh my, did you, did you see that bite? What the hell? It's a little one for sure. You got nibbled. I think he probably already got my crab. Oh my, what, dude, that. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's an angry one, but he's not a big one. He's not very big. He's not very big. Sorry. No, I said he's not very big. Oh, You're good. No. Nope. He got it on the drop too, dude. So with that jig, it was a three quarter ounce jig, which is pretty heavy as far as something eating it on the fall. But I guess with that added drag of a big crab with a bunch of legs on it, these fish were able to grab this bait on the drop when I was letting it down, which was pretty unique. It's not something that normally happens. It'll happen every now and then with a bottom rig, but not very often. I've been pleasantly surprised by the jigs. And there goes my rod. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he got you in the bridge, didn't he? Uh-oh, he's hooked in the belly. Keep it, though. I think I might turn this one loose. What do you think? I mean, he's not hes not a bad one, but we're catching enough now. I think I kept one like this earlier, but it's bad. Oh gosh, one's got it. On the dull wow. jig head. That's a yeah. good one. That jig does all right. He might go five pounds. I don't know. Four something. No, it's not. It's not. I got it. Dang, that was so dramatic. It don't look big on that rod, I swear. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. He's hooked in the cheek. Another boat coming out.
nice one for today. Wrapping up sheephead fishing, we did pretty well. Wind is blowing. I don't know. Get back here. Wrapping up sheephead fishing here at the Oregon Inlet Bridge. See, we got people there. There's people everywhere. The place gets hammered now, um, which is okay. There's a lot of fish. It's good fishing, easy access. Um, yeah, I think we we probably landed 35 or so, 30, 35 somewhere in there. We released a lot of little ones, and I think we kept 18 or 20. So good mess of fish. Anyway, gonna get out of here, back into the Northeast Flow.